Colossians chapter 3, Live as God's People. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify, therefore, your members, which are upon the earth fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affection, evil concept science, and covetousness, which is idolatry, for which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, in the which ye also walk it some time, when ye lived in them, but now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge, after the image of him that created him. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, satian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in all your hearts, to the, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you, richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye yea, do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as it is fit in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and be not bitter against them. Children, Obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing unto the Lord. Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. Servants, obey in all things your masters 
according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, as to the Lord, and not unto men. Knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he had done, and there is no respect of persons. Colossians chapter 4 Masters, give unto your servants that which is just and equal, knowing that ye also have a master in heaven. Continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving, withal praying also for us, that God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in bonds, that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak, Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. All my state shall Titus declare unto you, who is a beloved brother and a faithful minister, and fellow servant in the Lord, whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose, that ye might know your estate and comfort your hearts with ominous um, miss, a faithful and beloved brother who is one of you, they shall make known unto you all things which are done here. Artharsis, my fellow prisoner, salute you and Marcus, sister's son to Barnabas, touching whom ye received commandments. If he come unto you, receive him. And Jesus, which is called Justice, who are of the circumcision, these only are my fellow workers unto the kingdom of God, which have been a comfort unto me. Aphras, who is one of you, a servant of Christ, salute you, always laboring fervently for you in prayers, that ye may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. For I bear him record that he had a great zeal for you and them that are in Laodicea and them in Hierapolis. Luke, the beloved physician, and Damas greet you. Salute the brethren which are in Laodicea and Nyphus and the church which is in house, his house. And when this epistle is read among you, cause that it be read also in the church of the Laodiceans, and that ye likewise read the epistle from Laodicea. And to say, Archippus, take heed to the ministry which thou ha hast received in the Lord, that thou fulfill it, 
The Solution by the Hand of Me, Paul. Remember my bonds. Grace be with you. Amen.